Glory to God. Verse 33 through 45. Glory to God today. And uh, before we get started, y'all remember Elder Chun in a special manner. Mm -hmm. Elder Chun is uh, in intensive care. Uh, we went out to see him yesterday. Me and Sister Titwell did. And, uh, you know, he wasn't responding. That's the reason why Jeanette had him put in the hospital. And, uh, but after we had prayer, the uh, nurse, well, they said that he started responding. Though we went out there to see him, he wasn't doing nothing, just laying there. He got tubes all in his mouth and stuff and, and everything. Uh, but I heard that uh, today that he was in and out, you know, and everything, and said that uh, he did squeeze some of them's hand, but they, uh, when they went to try to see him, I guess the night he wasn't doing anything and stuff. But remember him in a special manner. I tell y'all one thing. Life is a vapor. It is. You hear the day and go on tomorrow. That's why it, it behooves us to live right. Amen. Come I mean, we don't Amen. never know when God, all God got to do is just see fit. Well, your time's up and just withdraw the breath of life and it's over. That's right. That's right. So that's why we need to live right. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. But I'm praying and believing in God that God raise him up. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah to God. But that's just how. That's just how you know it. It, 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 it ain't nothing. I mean, you could just be gone just like that. So he, he got to have a miracle. Amen. So just believe God that the Lord give him a miracle. Yeah, oh yeah, David Tubbs, a guy sang with us. He in the hospital down there not far from my house. He called me yesterday. He uh, They admitted him in the Methodist Hospital, North Lake, having chest pains. And see, one thing about it, Chun do have some faith. Amen. Man, poor Tubbs, y'all pray for him. Cause he just... Whatever the doctor said, man, he just doctor, 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 doctor. So y'all just pray for him. I tell you, like, man, really need faith. He said something about you may have to stay with Sharon. Well, it's good if he stay with Sharon. Because if he stay with Sharon, then maybe he'll start coming to church here. Yes, so he can be around some faith jam and been trying to talk to him. But yes, it's almost like a waste of time trying to talk to him because he... See, it, 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 you can't wait till you get into Christ to get faith. That's right. That's you got to have faith before you enter into that Christ That's right. That's right. and everything. And, uh, you know, he just, just pray for him. And I didn't talk to him today. He called me yesterday. You talked to him today? I went out there to see him. Okay, what what they talking about now? I mean, the, um, he, was more, he was having um, pains, but the thing about it, I think it was that guy. You probably will. I mean, you know, um... He was in and they was going to keep up uh, for a couple of days in his own because they hadn't heard from his doctor and all that. He, then he was complaining. He was his regular old self complaining about him being hungry and all of that stuff. I ain't talking to him today, but I went out there yesterday. Oh, it seemed yeah. like he was doing pretty good. You know? Yeah. Well, y'all pray for him and everything. Pray the Lord. Uh, <laughs> pray the Lord raise him up, man. Good old guy, he got a good heart. He just need the real Holy Ghost. And that thing. <laughs> yes. Pray for Flip, too, because he. Dealing with his too. <laughs> he in the hospital? I think he's been in now. Yeah, pray for Elder Fleming. That's his pastor. He's a nice guy. Just pray for him. Yes, sir. All right. Glory to God. Matthew chapter 24. Glory to God. Beginning at verse number 33. We're going to read 33 through 45. Glory to God today. We're going to try to break this thing down because the church world, the biggest of them, is missing the point and everything and they're teaching the thing wrong. And stuff it uh glory to God. I'm gonna do my best and everything to uh try to enlighten people if they'll follow me. All right, Matthew twenty four and verse thirty three. Read for us. Oh likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is not that it is near, even at the doors. Now Jesus was talking about in his twenty fourth chapter of Matthew, he told him a lot of things to look for mm -hmm. before his return. Yes, Lord. Told about wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes in divers places, famine and everything, and pestilence. Then he said, rise of false prophets and everything. Glory to God. And, and, and he spoke about, glory to God, iniquity abounding and stuff increasing. And a lot of things he said. So he said, glory to God today. And he said, uh, he said, well, when, when you see all these things, when you see all these things happening. Yes, Lord. He said, glory to God today. Uh, know that it is near even at the door. That means that it's just about here. Just about time for it to be fulfilled. It's coming. Glory to God today. The coming, hallelujah to God today. Thank you, Jesus. 
of the Lord. And, and see, what a lot of people don't realize, the Lord's coming to sinners is wrath. Mm -hmm. To them it's a day of wrath. To those that say that's in Jesus, it's a day of salvation. Amen. Glory to God today. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, read. Verily I say unto you, Verily I say unto you, This generation shall not pass, Till all these things be fulfilled. He said, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. And even when he was telling them all these things, he told them if they say he's in the desert, don't go out there uh -huh. looking for him. He said that, glory to God, uh, he said that the light that cometh out of the east and shineth unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Uh -huh. Then he went on to him immediately after the tribulation of those days. He tells us after the tribulation of those days that he was coming. Yes, sir. And you know that's the only place in the scripture we read what he, I mean literally tells us when he's coming. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. It, it ain't no place in there where he says uh, nothing about coming before the tribulation. Uh -huh. Though the people is teaching and everything that he can come any time. But I'm going to prove to you, glory to God today, how he got that he can't come any time. And that, that's not even to the saints. Uh -huh. Glory to God today, that, that's not for the saints. That's for sinners. Yes, Lord. Glory to God today. Read. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Heaven and earth shall pass away. That means heaven and earth is going to perish. Uh huh. Uh huh. But my word shall not pass away. But my word shall not pass away. God's word is not going to fail. Yes, everything that Jesus said here in the 24th chapter of Matthew, everything going to be fulfilled. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. His word is not going to perish. Yes, it's going to be fulfilled. Uh -huh. Glory to God in the highest. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, God. So He told us about heaven and earth was going to perish, and see what's going to happen. Glory to God today, people. The heavens as we know it, the sky and all of that and everything today, that that stuff's going to be set ablaze, going to be burning and stuff and everything. Glory to God. The heaven that we see, that's going to be destroyed. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah, God. The earth as we know it is uh -huh. going to perish. Amen. Glory to God today. Hallelujah, God. The things you see on earth, all of that stuff is going to be destroyed. Amen. Glory to God today. Thank you, Jesus. But hallelujah, God today, His Word is not going to perish. Yes, Lord. Glory to God today. Because glory to God, the Word made all things. That's right. And the Word was God. Glory to God today, the Word is God. And the Word Amen. was God. And glory to God today. And hallelujah, God. And so since... God is the Word. Glory to God. It ain't no way in the world that God can perish. Amen. And the Word can't perish because the Word is God. Amen. Glory to God. Read. But of that day and hour, North no man. Jesus said, but of that day. Huh? Talking about the day when He come. When, the, when He come to, to close out this six age. But of that day and hour. Hour means time. Uh-huh. He said, no, no man. That means, don't no man know the day. We just talking about glory to God. I, I, I didn't make no man know what day that I'm going to climax this sixth age. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Some people call it the end of the world. It's the end of the age. Glory to God. Or the hour, which is the time. He didn't let no man know that. He didn't reveal that to no man. So that's why glory to God. The people that was talking about December the 21st, the world going to come to the end 2012, that's why it failed. Yes, because God didn't reveal that to them. Yes, and that preacher that was, uh, glory to God, I don't know where he was from, uh, Arizona, wherever he's from, that got on TV, was talking about the rapture was going to take place. Remember back here, back here, was last year, year before last, one talking about the rapture going to take place. Anybody know where he's from? Well, anyway, he was talking, excuse me, he was talking about that and glory to God today, and, and that didn't happen. Because God didn't reveal that to him. No man know the day or the hour, which is the time. Amen. When God is going to climax this sixth age. Uh -huh. Bring it to a close and bring in the seventh age. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Read. But that day and hour no man know not the angels of heaven. Now look, he said the angels don't even know. He didn't let Michael know. None of the angels. Gabriel, he didn't even make them know what day it's going to be. What time it's going to be. Yes, Glory to God. Uh-huh. No, not, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. One scripture, I believe, is in Luke. 
He said, glory to God today. The Son didn't even know. Right. Glory to God. God didn't even make it known to the Son. Right. Glory to God today. But God in, our, in, a, in eternity preordained it. Glory to God today. Ordained it. That, uh, glory to God. Nobody knew that day and that hour uh -huh. but Him. Amen. God put it in His own power the day and the time when He was going to climax this sixth age. Yes, sir. Read. Okay. But as the days of Noah were. But as the days of Noah were, as it was in the days of Noah. Uh -huh. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Now He compared. The coming of the Son of Man to the days of Noah. Yes, Lord. Now he gonna let you know what was happening in the days of Noah. All right. Verse thirty-eight. For as in the days that were before the flood. Now these was the days before the flood came. Now. Uh huh. The as it was before the flood. Uh huh. They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Now look what it said. For as in the days that were before the flood, before the flood came. They were eating and drinking, married and giving in marriage. This, this is what the world was doing. Uh -huh. Sons was doing this. Eating, just feasting all the time. Uh -huh. We see the same thing today, don't you? That's Amen. Right. Glory right. to God. You go to the buffets on Sunday, they packed out. That's right. Glory to God. Just packed out. I know Valentine's Day finna come. And man, glory to God. I mean, restaurants that ain't even all that important, man. So now can't get up in there. <laughs> I remember, glory to God, we tried to go and everything and stop that one out here in Merrillville. And glory to God today, and how do you got it going on a day? Figure when nobody got up in there, man, they had folks standing around there. Well, we got up and left. We just left. Uh -huh. Because glory to God today, that's all people doing, eating. That's right. Matter of fact, they call American, <laughs> glory to God, Americans, they call it obesity. Obese. Mm -hmm. They talk about we. We's an obese nation. And glory to God, because some of that probably because they done pump so much steroids and, and stuff we eat anyway. Glory to God today. And then we just we just love thee. Amen. Glory to God. Love thee. And the holiday to God. Thank you, Jesus. But he said that uh, they would eat it. And that's talking about that. That's all they were doing to eat. And drinking. And they talking about drinking Gatorade. Uh, Kool-Aid. It's talking about Folks was getting drunk. They was getting yeah. mellow. Yes, Glory Lord. to God. Whatever booze they had back then. Yes, they made. They, man, they were drinking it. Uh -huh. yes, Folks doing the same thing today. Drinking yes, it. Right. Glory to God. Drinking. And they, it's even, they got even something else to get high on today. That's right. <laughs> they got their weed, their grass and stuff. Amen. Folks cracking, jacking, uh -huh. and packing. And Mighty. glory to God, they doing everything. Oh, that's right. that's getting right. high. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Glory to God. Getting high. Yeah. That's what they're doing. Yes, Lord. Eating and drinking. Glory to God. Marrying. Uh -huh. Folk getting married. Ain't nothing wrong with getting married. But glory to God, if if, if two people are unsaved and they get married, fine. That's right. uh -huh. Or two saints can get married. That's right. Two saved people. But a saint's not to marry a sinner. Amen. Right. Glory to God. And I'm going to tell you one thing. Glory to God, this marriage, it would cover too. You know these folks to marry this folks now because you got not same-sex marriage. That's right. Which is an abomination in the sight of God. It's wrong. Amen. Ain't no way you're going to get right out of it. It's wrong. Amen. You know what? What gets me high? Everybody jumped around here when Bill Clinton got caught up in everything in that scandal. Everybody really nailed him to the cross. Uh -huh. But you know one thing I look at like this. The man, what he done was wrong. Fornication always wrong. Yeah, but the man wasn't saved. Amen. And everything today, and so glory to God, I don't be shocked at what they do. But at least it was a woman he was around yeah, he was attracted to. Right. See, if they're going to call that folk on the I ain't got no trust for that man. Well, what about these people that's around here, same sex, and they around here doing something that God says is an abomination? Amen. Amen. Come on. Ain't nobody saying nothing about that. They talk about, oh, how Kennedy, Kennedy boy. Oh, they love their women. Well, they, yeah, they, they supposed to have been loving their wives and truly their wives. Every man ought to, the Bible said, let every man have his own wife. And he ought to be true to his own wife. 
But glory to God today, as I said before, them men wasn't filled with the Holy Ghost. Glory to God, when a man run for president, they don't look at his background and everything and see, was he Pentecostal? Did he get the Holy Ghost or not? <laughs> glory to God today, they just jump up because somebody run for office and they vote for him. Right. Glory to God. But then the first time he do something like that, go out here and have an affair with a woman or something like that, glory to God. It's wrong because fornication is wrong. But, at least it was the way they're supposed to have it. And every time at least a man's supposed to have a woman. Uh -huh. A woman's supposed to have a man. Yeah. But, and, and they talked about how they can't trust them and all that stuff. But these people going out here, men marrying men. My Lord. Women marrying women. Jesus. And ain't nobody saying nothing about them. My Lord. You ain't hear nothing about them. They don't trust them. Glory to God. And that's something right there. God hates. That's right. So when it covered this marrying, that, that 